in an experiment to determine the level of resistance of some maize varieties to Callosobrucus maculatus in storage. The following data on the numbers of board kernel were obtained. Compute an ANOVA table if F tabulated is 3.24 at 5% and 5.29 at 1%. Also comment on the level of resistance of these maize varieties. To compute an ANOVA table for this data, the first step is to take the row total and the column total. The row total is the summation of each row. Then, therefore, I'm going to have another column in this place. Then, the column total is the summation of each column. So, I'm going to have another row in this place. And row total, let me represent it as RT. RT. And the column total, let me represent it as uh, CT. So, let us take the row total first. For this row, the row total will be the summation of 4, 9, 3, and 6. And that will give me 22. We have 22 here. Then for the second row, that is 5 plus 10 plus 4 and plus 7. That is 26. For the third row, I'm going to add 3 plus 11 plus 3 and plus 8. That is 25. Then for the fourth row, I'm going to add 4 plus 8 plus 4 and plus 6. That is 22. For the fifth row, I'm going to add 5 plus 10 plus 3 and plus 7. That is 25. So, I have gotten the row total. Now, let us calculate the column total. For the first column, I'm going to add 4, 5, 3, 4, 5. That is 21. Then for the second column, that is 48. For the third column, that is 17. And for this column, I got 84. So, after getting the row total and the column total, the next step is to check whether the row total is equal to the column total. If I want to check whether the row total is equal to the column total, I'm going to add all the value in my row total. I'm going to write it in one place. I'm going to add all the value in my column total. I'm going to write it aside. Then I'm going to check. When I solve the row total, I got 120. The row total is equal to 120. So let us check the column total. That is 21 plus 48 plus uh, 17 plus uh, 34. That is uh, also 120. So the row total is equal to the column total. Therefore, the value that will be here is 120. Let's assume that when I sum the row total and I sum the column total, as long as I didn't get the same answer, then something is wrong with our calculation. Maybe I'm um, doing our summation, but uh, you can see that the row total is equal to the column total. So we got the right answer. Now, the next step is to calculate the correction factor. The correction factor is given by this formula. Let me represent it as CR and CF. The correction factor is given by this formula summation x into bracket all squared all over n. this is the formula to calculate the correction factor summation x is the sum of all the observations that we have and n is the total numbers of observation and don't forget that we have already add all the numbers together that gave us 120 so i'm going to have 120 squared all over and n is the total numbers of observation and total numbers of observation is gotten by multiplying the varieties by the time each variety repeats themselves that is the replicate that is, you can see that we have how many varieties in this place? We have 4 varieties, that is 4, multiplied by the numbers of times each variety repeats themselves is 5. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 4 times 5 is 20. So the total numbers of observation is 20. So n is equal to 20. Now, if you square 120, that is 14,400 all over 20. That, is, that gave me 720. So the correction factor is 720. Now the next step is to calculate the total sum of square. The total sum of square is gotten by summing all the square of the observation that we have and subtracting it from the correction factor. The total sum of square, let me represent it as TSS is equal to sum of squared of all the observation observation minus the correction factor. So this is the formula for calculating the total sum of square. That is sum of the square of each observation minus the correction factor. Now let us start. Total sum of square is equal to, you can see that the first observation is 4. So I'm going to square 4. 4 plus 9 squared plus 3 squared plus 6 squared then plus 5 squared plus uh, 10 squared plus 4 squared plus 7 squared plus 3 squared
So therefore, the total sum of squares, total sum of squares is equals to when I sum the square of all these observations, I got 850. And don't forget that the correction factor is 720. So I'm going to have 850 minus 720. So the total sum of squares, total sum of squares is equals to 130. Now, after calculating the total sum of square, the next step is to calculate the variety sum of square. The variety sum of square is given by this formula. Summation vi squared all over n minus the correction factor. Yes, summation vi squared is the sum of the square of each variety. And the n is the numbers of time each variety repeats themselves. So, let us start. Vss is equal to, for variety 1, the sum is 21. So, I'm going to have 21 squared plus for variety 2, the sum is 48. So, I'm going to have plus 48 squared plus, for variety 3, I have 17, 17. So, I'm going to have 17 squared plus uh, 34 squared. So, that is the sum of the square of each variety all over n. n is the numbers of time each variety repeats themselves. And the numbers of time that the varieties repeat themselves is 5. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, I'm going to have all over 5 minus the correction factor don't forget that the calculated correction factor is 720 so i'm going to have minus 720 so if you write the sum of squared is equals to 4190 all over 5 minus the correction factor that is 720 so if you write the sum of squared is equals to the uh, 4190 divided by 5 that is 838 minus 720 so the variety sum of squared is equals to 118 variety sum of squared vss is equals to 118 now after getting the variety sum of squared the next thing that we have to get is the error sum of squared the error sum of squared is getting by subtracting the variety sum of squared from the total sum of squared so i'm going to have so error sum of squared is equals to um, total sum of squared minus the variety sum of square. And don't forget that the total sum of square is 130. So I'm going to have 130 minus 118. If you subtract this, the error sum of square is equal to 130 minus 118. That is 12. So the error sum of square is 12. Error sum of square is 12. Now, we have calculated the correction factor, the total sum of square the variety sum of squared and the error sum of squared. Next step is to proceed to compute our ANOVA table. A typical ANOVA table look like this. We have the source of variation, the degree of freedom, the sum of squared, the mean squared, the F calculated, and the F tabulated at 5% and 1% respectively. Now I'm going to show you how you can complete this table. Don't forget that I've already gotten the source of variation as 130. I mean, the total sum of squared as 130. So I'm going to have total and total then the variety we have already calculated the variety so i'm going to have variety in this case and then the third column would be for the error okay that's the source of variation now let's start with by filling this table we have the degree of freedom don't forget that the formula for the degree of freedom is given by this df is equals to n minus one this is the formula standard formula for the degree of freedom now let us calculate the total degree of freedom to get the total degree of freedom the total degree of freedom is the total numbers of observation minus 1. That is, total degree of freedom is equal to n will be the total numbers of observation. And the total number of observation is what? 20. So I'm going to have 20 minus 1. That is 19. So the total degree of freedom is 19. Now let us calculate the degree of freedom for varieties. To get the degree of freedom for variety, don't forget that the total numbers of variety that we have is 4. So the degree of freedom for variety will be variety degree of freedom is equals to the total variety is 4 4 minus 1 which is equals to 3 so the value for these cells is 3 now, the error degree of freedom is the subtraction of the variety degree of freedom from the total degree of freedom so error degree of freedom is equals to total degree of freedom minus the variety uh, degree of freedom so the total degree of freedom is 19, so I'm going to have 19 minus the variety degree of freedom is 3, so 19 minus 3, that is 16, so the error degree of freedom is 16. Now, let us proceed to the sum of square. Don't forget that we have already calculated the total sum of square, so the value of these cells will be what? 130, 130, then the variety sum of square will be uh, 118, uh, 118, and the error sum of square, that is 12. 
So we have got, we have gotten the column of degree of freedom at the sum of square. Now let us calculate mean square. Mean square is given by this formula. Mean square ms is equal to sum of squared all over degree of freedom. Mean square is equal to sum of squared all over degree of freedom. And don't forget that the if I want to get the mean square of total, let me put it the total mean square is equal to the total sum of square. The total sum of square is 130. So I'm going to have 130 divided by um, the total degree of freedom is 19. So I'm going to have 130 divided by 19. That is 6.84. So the value of total mean square, which is the value of this cell, that is 6.84. Eight, four. Now let us calculate the mean square of variety. That is variety mean square. Don't forget that the mean square is given by this formula: sum of squared all over the degree of freedom. So the variety mean squared (VMS) is equals to the variety sum of squared. The variety sum of squared is 118. So I'm going to have 118 all over the degree of freedom for variety. That is three. So the variety mean square is equals to 39.33. So the value for these cells is 39.33. Now let us calculate the uh, the mean square of error. The error mean square is given by this formula. This error sum of squared all over the error degree of freedom. I'm going to have error mean squared is equal to error sum of square is 12. So I'm going to have 12 divided by the error uh, degree of freedom is 16. So 12 over 16, that is 0 0.75. So for the value of these cells is 0 0.75. Now let us proceed to the column of F calculated. F calculated is given by this formula. F cal is equal to the mean squared all over error mean squared. Since I am only interested in the F calculated of varieties, so the F calculated of variety is equal to variety mean squared all over the error mean squared. So I'm going to have 39.33. Don't forget that the error mean squared is 0.75 all over 0 0.75 so f calculated for variety is equal to 52.44 so the value for f calculated for variety is 52 52.44 don't forget that from the question the f tab at 5% is 3.24 so at 5% i'm going to have 3.24 and F tab at 1% is 5.29. I'm going to have 5.29. So therefore, I have completed the ANOVA table. The question being said, comment on the level of resistance. The level of resistance depends on the ability of each variety to resist the effects of the diseases. To know varieties that have high resistivity, we have to calculate the mean of each variety. The mean of each variety is calculated by summing the varieties all over the numbers of time. The variety repeats itself. For the mean of variety 1 now is mean of variety 1 is equal to the sum of the variety 1 that is 21 all over the numbers of time variety 1 repeats itself. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is 5. 21 divided by 5. That is 4.2. So the mean of variety 2 M v2 is equal to the sum of variety 2 that is 48 all over 5 that gives me 9.6 9.6 the mean of variety 3 is equal to the sum of variety 3 is 17 so that is 17 all over 5 that gives me 3.4 so the mean of variety 4 mean of variety 4 is equal to the sum of variety 4 is um, 34. So I'm going to have 34 all over 5. That gives me 6.8. Now we have gotten the mean of each variety. The varieties that have the lowest mean value is more resistant to the, um, to the disease compared to the other varieties. And if you look at the calculated mean varieties, among these varieties, the variety that has the lowest mean value is variety 1. Oh, variety 3 rather, which is 3.4. Therefore, the variety that is more resistant is variety theory because it is the variety that has the lowest mean value. Thank you very much for watching the video. 
I really appreciate you. Probably if you didn't understand, you can watch the video again. Or if you have any question, you can drop it in the comment box. I would like you to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. So that when I drop new video, you are going to get updates.